Hey, they try to cancel Eminem too. You saw that shit? <laughs> Ooh, boy, don't even be. How, how you? It's like, bro, that's, that's literally like trying to cancel Dave Chappelle. What the bro, fuck? Bro, they been trying to cancel that nigga since he fucking came out in the 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's just. I don't give a fuck. What are you going to say, Ian? All that, all this stuff is getting to be like, like you said. Too many pansies running around, like, good God. <laughs> and it's funny, because Eminem stay talking about the pussies all the time. It's, it's funny, because, like... Eminem says every wrong thing in the book and does not give a fuck. He don't. And and you know what? That's why, that's why a lot of people like his music, because he don't give a fuck. I, mean, I will say, he ain't said nigga yet. He still ain't said it. Has he not? I don't think so. I don't, no, think Eminem, I, yeah, I don't think Eminem has said negative one time. That would have been time. a long. That was something that would have been talked about a long time ago if he did. Yeah. yeah hey, sorry. Vince McMahon said nigga. <laughs> and on fucking TV, bro, on TV, he said to John Cena, "What's up, my nigga?" <laughs> and they walked off. Oh. Oh no, yeah, he. Dude. I remember that scene. He was shocked as fuck. He's like, uh. Yeah, he, and then Booker made, T like, was. Yeah, Booker T was sitting there. He's like, tell me he did not just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot about that. But, like... Yeah, it's okay. But what's funny is it's okay for him to say it, but when Hulk Hogan says it off camera... Yeah. It's a big, well, bad thing. Well, the thing... This is how they put it. Vince McMahon is a character on television. He said it in a show. It doesn't actually reflect his... Um, him or, you, you know... Uh, Hulk Hogan, he was in his home in real life, referring in a derogatory fo- form. But you know, uh, and it, and it kind of it kind of eases into like, okay, well, if he said it in his home, should we, you know, why was there cameras recording him? That's an invasion of privacy type shit. I can see that in this instance, but I also see in this instance, like, hey, he he said it, and he said it in a derogatory form. So, you know. That shit comes with fucking repercussions, man. They trying to, I know that they, they just want to cancel the nigga because he be saying faggot a lot. That's the reason why they want to cancel that nigga. Hulk Hogan? No, Eminem. Oh, yeah. But He's, see, they, they were trying to cancel him off of some lyric from uh, that Rihanna song. I can't remember, but it was something about. Something about. Basically, it was, I can't remember the lyric, but that I love the way you lie. And it's something about the fact that like, he'll basically. Tire, oh, he, tire, tire, grass, tire yeah. down and burn the house down. Yes, yes, that's what it was. Burn the house down. <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was. I guess because like, because it was a uh, domestic violence ish, and they were yeah. like, oh, well, he's just talking like so much, like that, like that, the fucking that video you shared, uh, Paris, like where that interview, the lady in the interview, she was literally taking every word. Ice Cube. Was that Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah, that was Ice yeah, Cube. Nin- 1991 uh, CNBC interview. But literally, she was taking everything that nigga said for literal when it's poetry. And that that's and she the thing, was like, picking. She was picking, too, on what to focus on. She had a fucking... And, and that's... I feel like art will be censored at one point. Like, I feel like that's... It's that, already that's, being censored. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, you're right. Yes, Art's being censored because... People, the people, you can't express your view anymore. And, but a lot of the times it's not, it's not that you're trying to hurt somebody. It's not that you're trying to, you know, go against somebody. Like people who fucking show up on fucking with the KKK mask on saying fuck niggers all day long. <laughs> like they, they, they trying to kill some motherfucker. They trying to hang some niggas. They trying to eliminate black people. But like the shit that he did in that song, he, Y- y'all already know Eminem don't like bitches. He just don't. He can't stand a bitch. He don't. He don't. He don't. It's, fuck it's his ex wife. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> all, uh, most of his music is him talking shit about a woman. When that, his and, mom or his wife, ex wife. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Most of the mo- most of Eminem's like most people who like Eminem are majority women. I'm just gonna say that. Like, I know, like, literally, hella females that is like, oh my god, I love Eminem. It's, I feel like I, I don't know. It, he's a good lyricist, and I feel like he always tells a story in his, uh, in his music. 
So it it always just throws me off that somebody would like to like just cancel him. He's not a bad person. He just he doesn't go out of his way to be like, oh fuck fuck faggots and like he doesn't like go in an interview like fuck faggots. I don't like these faggots. Fuck bitches. All that he says it in his music, but he doesn't portray that in his life. So I feel like that he should be cleared from that because like I said, he doesn't just go around just slandering people. He just puts it in his art form. If you don't like his art form, don't fucking listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? Somebody even brought this up. Uh, talk about, you know, I love the way you lie song. What about that Stan song? That's like somebody, a stalker for a celebrity. Yeah. yeah I mean, do you remember that one? Uh, stalking Eminem. Stan yeah. was stalking Eminem and then put his wife in the trunk and killed something like that. Yeah, Ooh, and drove off the drove oh, off the bridge. Oh yeah, but he was like, uh, he was like, my kid adores you and shit like that. Uh, where he where he he the the fans sent him a letter, and the letters, letter, like, yeah, well, why aren't you writing me back? Yeah, I bitch. wrote you a bunch of songs. <laughs> I I double checked the I double checked the address. I made sure it's clearly legible. I was like, damn. Was that <clears> real <throat> or was that like it was it was. Oh, it was probably poetry. Mm. He's probably telling a story. I mean, it's all, it's all, yeah, that's all it is, is people telling a story. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a persona. Not, I mean, it'd be different. It'd be different if he was, you know, actually do, doing this shit. And I'm going to put it into music form. It's like, so you're mm-hmm. confessing to a crime, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and that's where it gets iffy because I know a lot of court systems try to use songs in a literal since when convicting artists and like where do you draw the line? it's a blurry line where do you draw that line at because it, it's a gimmick it's a persona half the things people say i would say 80 percent of the shit rappers say in their songs isn't true and the other 20 percent is exaggerated except for uh just except for uh the nigga that nigga melly he killed his best friend he killed them and they made a song about that shit he, he killed them, bro. He killed them and then made a song about it. Or he he talked about killing them. Killed them. They made a song about killing them. 